Hey kids, it's Mr. Guffey back in the chemistry classroom here. I'm going to do a little uh, experiment for you. You have the unknown elements uh, in your periodic table. Hopefully they've already been organized. I'm going to take my mask off because I'm no longer in the hallway. But hopefully you have your elements organized into a, a semi-periodic table at this point. What I'm going to do for you now is we've got some samples of some of the other unknown elements uh, here in the classroom. You can find them on, on slide number three on your Jamboard. Okay? I'm going to test six of them for you by simply reacting them with water. So in these three test tubes, I have three of the six chemicals, what I have for you, and they're labeled right behind me on the board. So I've got uh, Higgsmith over here in this test tube, I've got Wallonium here in the middle test tube, and I've got the best one of all, Gastonium, in this test tube right here. Over in the fume hood, I've got some of the more dangerous samples that we have uh, here in the classroom. So all I'm going to do is add some water to these test tubes and you're gonna take some observational data about it, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna put my goggles on and I've actually already put in uh, the metal or the, the elements into my test tube. So here I'm just gonna add some water to the elements and see what happens. Let's see if they react. So I add water to gastinium. It's sitting down there. Are you looking real close? Get close to the camera. Can you see? Anything going on? Hmm. It's as boring as my class, huh? All right, I'm gonna put that back. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we'll check back with that one and see what happens there. Okay, so so far, take your observational data on Gustinium and what is going on in there. I'm gonna add some water over here to Higgsmith now. Let's take a peek at that one. I'll give it a little shake to try and mix it up. Hmm. I'll bring it around so you can see. I'm not sure there's much going on in this one. It's just a little strip of metallic. It's silver or gray. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, you know what? If you get really close, though, you can kind of see some bubbles. There's one at the very top some bubbles start to forming on, as I say, turn it, you can see the bubbles. Some bubbles start to form on the piece of metal itself, which is way more than we can say for gastinium. That's for sure. Let's check out uh, wallonium, chemical symbol AA. Let's see what happens here when I react this one. Again, I'm gonna add just about the same amount of water to this one to see what happens. Hmm. Oh, there are some bubbles forming in this one, folks. Definitely some bubbles forming in this one. Hmm. Can you see it? See all those bubbles starting to form? Look right at the, uh, the wallonium sample right there. Look at the bubbles coming right off of it. Interesting. More and more bubbles starting to form. Let's give it a good mix. Okay. Oh, and now we're getting more bubbles to form. Take your observational data. What are you seeing? You can see the bubbles starting to form. Have you ever seen anything like this when it hits the water or when water mixes with something around your house? I don't know. Can you hear it? I don't know where the speaker is on my computer, but I can hear it. It's pretty loud and it's getting more and more intense. Hmm. Oh, look, it's even getting, like, it's, it, it, hmm. I don't feel any temperature change, but look, it's getting, like, you can't even see through it anymore. Whoa, this thing is reacting. Cool. Oh, look, look at, the, it's dancing around in there. You see it moving around? Wow, okay. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Let's check back in with Gastonian to see if anything happened. Yeah, still no. Just like nothing. Wallonium, still going nuts. Look at that thing. Bubbling like crazy. Higgsmith, a few more bubbles on there, but nothing like Wallonium. Okay. Let's move over here. Let's move over to the fume hood. In the fume hood, I've got a few more samples over here. 
okay? I've got a few more that are a bit more reactive. We've tested them. They're a bit more reactive, so I'm going to make sure they stay in the fume hood. The first one we're going to test is KO. Conastum. We're going to test KO, element symbol KO first. I'm going to get it here out of um, my jar. Here we go. I've got it stored in the oil here because it's, it's a little more reactive. All right. Let's see if you can see. I'm going to try and make sure you can see what's going on over here. I'm going to get a little piece of it out. Let you see what it looks like here. It's actually super, super smooth, or, or, or smooth and kind of soft, actually. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this thing. I'll bring it real close to you. You can get some observational data. Can you see how shiny it is? Right? Can you see? It's very shiny in there. It looks like metal, but it also, like, when I was trying to chop it, it just, like, kind of moved right through. My little knife moved right through that piece of metal. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I'm going to add this stuff to water. Instead of adding water to it, I'm going to add it to water. So here we go. Let's go ahead and... I see some smoke. I hear some sizzling in there. It's kind of moving around the top of the water. I'm hoping you can see what's going on in there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Hmm. A lot of smoke, though. A lot of just something. Some kind of gas is coming off the top of this. Interesting. It's still going. It's still reacting. I'm not sure you can see. There's a little piece of metal in there still dancing around, dancing around, dancing around, and it is... Oh, it's going. Hmm. That wasn't what I expected. I'm gonna try it again. Let's try it again. Here we go. Ugh. Add myself a little bit more water to the reaction. Good piece here. Let's see what happens when I put this in there now. Okay. Here we go. All right. This time I'll bring you even closer so we can see what's going on here. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. Now, you, oh, oh! It's like a fire, it's an orange firework. Mr. Gustin's favorite color is orange. Whoa! Woo! Yeah! Uh-oh, that's on fire. We should probably put that out, shouldn't we? Oh! That was KO. KO. Let's do this. Let's make sure that this goes out, huh? There we go. That fire's out now. All right, what's next? Next on our list, we are going to do chemical GB, element symbol GB. So start getting your data table ready for element GB. I'm going to get some more water. There's that. Let's get GB into the fume hood, and here we go. GB looks a little bit different, I'll show you. It kind of comes in these rods, but I'm gonna make sure we have a smaller piece of it than, um, than the whole rod. So let's go ahead, cut it into a little tiny piece. This one is much harder to cut. Ah, 
That was way more challenging to cut than KO was. That's interesting. Something maybe you'd want to write down or think about. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put some GB into the water. Let's see how it behaves. I already dropped it in. Come on. Okay. It's bubbling. It's dancing around. It's moving. I don't see much like gas coming off or smoke. But it's moving. I see something. Hmm. It's still going. Kind of staying on top. It's not really mixing with the water. Kind of interesting. Still going, still going. It's kind of taking a long time to react, isn't it? Hmm. Much longer than KO did. KO kind of danced around real fast and caught fire pretty darn quickly. It's still going, it's still going. This was a smaller piece, too, than KO was. So, all interesting things to think about. Uh, and it's done. That was GB. Make sure you have your your data for GB. Kind of a slow reaction. No smoke or very little smoke or gas was produced. That was GB. All right, last one is element symbol BN. BN is the last uh, element we are gonna look at. Let's see where it is. Right here. All right, the end. It's a fresh sample of BN. That's good to know. All right, this one comes in like even smaller bits. So it's not in rods, it's kind of in these like small cubes right here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm not gonna use the whole thing, like always. I'm just gonna cut us a small piece just to see what happens. There we go. Okay. Wow, this stuff, folks, this stuff cuts really, I thought uh, KO cut super easy. This stuff, I'm talking, it just like, it cuts right through BN. Wow, that's craziness. Okay, here we go. I have got uh, BN, I'm gonna put it in some water right now, and then hopefully we'll get to see it, it react. We'll see what happens. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one. All ready, look at all that smoke. Oh, all ready, look at that. It's purple! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It was ju just like that. I hit the water, turned purple, boom, gone. It seems unfair, one more time. I almost missed it, did you miss it? Let's try it again. Let's try this thing one more time with our friend BN. You ready? Three, two, one. Look at all that smoke. Oh, it's already on fire! Whoa, it's like a oh, purple! <gasps> Whoa, you know the differences between orange flames and purple or blue flames, don't you? Don't you? That was a bright purple flame. Hmm. All right. Hopefully now you've seen all six elements, uh, you've seen them react with water, you have some general ideas of their trends. I want you now to go over to slide number three in your Jamboard and organize those elements based on the properties you organized your elements on slide two. And then kind of on top of that, think about how might these properties of reactivity also take shape on that periodic table? Is there a pattern? Is there a trend? I don't know. Talk to your teacher and find out what to do next. See ya!